Hey guys, welcome back to another Best Food Review Road Trip. Today we are in Gettysburg, and what better place to eat than the Lincoln Diner? We're eating our way around the country and bringing reviews to you, so let's go in and check it out. This is like an old school diner, and it's right on the train tracks, like, they're right there. This is kind of a cool place. I think it was established back in 1955. It's one of these fast paced, greasy diners. Usually they have the best food, so we're really looking forward to ordering. The menu is huge here, so I'm gonna take some time and I'm gonna put the menu over here. I'm gonna leave it up a little bit. There's several pages, I'm gonna let those flash by. So if you need to stop the video and check it out, then uh, you have the opportunity to do so. It's an ice cream soda. Ice cream ch cherry soda. Anyway. Oh, it's yummy. So, Sierra Mist, like cherry syrup, vanilla ice cream. Here, try some. It's okay if I disappear, though. That's good. That's super, super good. A little bit of whipped cream. Mmm. I'll, sh I'll save the cherry for you. So what I chose on the menu is called a Texas Burger. It's got a fried egg right on top. Comes with, um, we ordered the deluxe version, so they added lettuce, tomato, mayonnaise, pickles looks like. Yep, right there. And I like onions, but uh, it's too many. So I'm just gonna set them under my bone right there. We'll spread out these tomatoes. And I'm going to take the first bite of this one. Mm. Mm. This bun is huge, kind of dense. I like it because it's holding together real well. Let's see what Paul picked. Being as we're at a diner, I wanted to get some classic diner food. So I got a Reuben, which has corned beef, it's got cheese, Thousand Island, and sauerkraut. So. Doesn't look like it has a lot of kraut on it. Wow. You know what I'm gonna say? With a full mouth. Although it doesn't look like there's a lot of crowd on it, it sure tastes like there is. So that's great. It's not a giant messy sandwich. It's really good. Mm. Pre-bitten by Amy. I love, 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 love hamburgers with eggs on them. Mm. That's really nice because they cook the egg a little over hard. But I guess it's a, it's a preference thing. Sometimes I like the yolk to juice over the whole burger. But here we go, I'm gonna take one more bite. Mm. The tomatoes and the pickles are really stand out. It's a burger. I also love Rubens. I like messy sandwiches. This is more my size of bite too. Mm. There's nothing wrong with the way this tastes. It's delicious. I think it lacks volume. Most of the time when we order a Reuben, we get a few more layer, a few more layers of ingredients in there. It doesn't need more sauerkraut because it doesn't have very much corned beef in it. So if it's delicious, the, the bread's nice. Again, toasted just right. I love the way like Paul's by it like almost fell apart because there's so much butter on the bread. Mm. 
What an amazing experience. We love the Lincoln Diner. I cannot believe I got this hamburger with french fries for $7.98. Even with the tip, that's less than what you're probably gonna pay at a fast food restaurant. So, I highly recommend it. The Reuben sandwich was delicious and I think appropriately sized for what we paid. Overall, our tab was only like $25 for lunch and that included beverages. Uh, given how much we like the food, the price of our meal today, we're gonna give the Lincoln Diner an eight. Remember again, we're scoring these based on our kind of overall experiences. We really like it. I think it's a great score for what you're gonna get. It is diner food, but it's one of the better we've had. If you like this video, give us a thumbs up. Consider subscribing and even ring the bell. That way we can notify you when we have new videos come out. We travel all around the United States, eating at some of these fun locations and sharing our reviews with you. Leave us a comment if you have a favorite restaurant. You think, hey, whenever you're in this town, make sure to try out this place. We want to hear, so leave those comments. Also, if you're curious about what we do as we travel, besides just feed our faces, we have a companion channel that's called Slices of Pie. We'll put the information in the description below so you can click right into that channel and take a look at what else we're doing while we're on the road. Until next time, bye!